So now the fat has been removed from our beautiful tenderloin of beef. Uh, we want to remove this long chain. This can be cooked up as little minute steaks. It can be ground for just a wonderful hamburger. But this was attached way up to about here on the tenderloin. Just trim it off. What we're trying to do is make as even a tenderloin as possible. Now this little tail can be tied right here. Once tied, it's all gonna look pretty much uniform. And tying is a little bit of a process. Take your string, this is cotton twine, butcher's string, and tie a knot right here. Be firm. And then you take it over your hand like this and over the meat and separate it, oh, about every inch or so. You see what I'm doing? It's fun to do this. Pull it tautly, you see? And then do that again. Butchers do this so quickly. One, two, three, and the whole thing is tied up. I learned a lot of it from my great uncle, Vichy Joe, in Jersey City, New Jersey, where Vichy Joe had a prime butcher shop. And uh, so this is how you do it. Isn't, isn't that nice and neat? And then take your string and go underneath each one of these. And remember to bring the meat to room temperature before you start to cook it. Uh, that way you're assured that the inside will cook at the same time as the outside.